I make functional pottery, I use brown stoneware for it. It's important to me to make functional things that people will use. It's wonderful that they place it on a, on a shelf and they love it. I love that, but I put a lot in every piece to really make it functional. And I don't, I don't know, but it makes me really happy when people use them. There's also a challenge, I think, in it, because so many people are making functional things, and you know, you want to make it just a little different. The whole thing started because basically I suffer from what most uh, potters suffer, and we all get arthritis eventually. <laughs> and I needed to get up from the wheel. I love working on the wheel. So I started to alter my pieces. So I start everything on the wheel. I get up, I, start, I really like oval shapes. So a lot of my pieces become oval eventually. So wheel, hand building, uh, and then I start adding pieces to it. It depends on the piece also. If it's a mug, you add a handle. If it's a teapot, there's the spot, the handle, and then those other, I decorate some of them. Uh, and then actually, you fire it the first time, and my glazing process takes me as long as making the piece. I see my pots, I think, as um, somehow people. Oh, because they're a little animated. They move, they dance, the goblets get a little tipsy, you know, stuff like this. <laughs> I think that my garden has a huge influence on me. I can't really explain it. I love nature. I make bird houses because I love birds. And I think that my colors, uh, like most people, your childhood has a huge effect on you. And growing up in Israel, the green and the blue was uh, a major color. I mostly concentrate right now on liquor containers. And the reason I do it is um, I, uh, my husband and I left Israel because of political reasons. And we did not want to be a part of the occupation anymore. And um, when I was very young, I, used, I worked as a bartender in several very, um, uh, I don't know how to explain it, several bars in, in, in Jerusalem where a lot of or, um, co foreign correspondents and intellectuals would come. It was the late 70s and um, we were uh, mingling with Palestinians, which is, which is, it's not happening anymore. But in one of them, I even had a Palestinian boss, which could not happen now in Israel. And I, I, there's, I, I have a very big place in my heart uh, remembering those times. These are times that probably won't come back. And I think that that's why I have this I don't know, special feelings towards uh, bars. And I think that the li liquor containers are an homage to that special, wonderful time that probably won't come back.